We're heading into a historically busy season for meat demand. Producers have experienced a roller coaster of prices during the pandemic. Melaine Wells has a look at the current supply chain impacts. It, it certainly has been. So, uh, you know, some of our, our fears came true in uh, late April or early April, rather, when, when some of the, the meat plants uh, did have to be very cautious as far as uh, exposure to employees and things like that. So um, at one point, our, our packing plants were operating at less than capacity, at some points less than 60%. And then they turned around and, and really started to ramp back up, not to the point that we were in 2019, however, because we did have to put safeguards in place and, and our, our larger plants are doing a great job. Our smaller plants are as busy as ever. And so now we're working through the, the end of the, the summer and, and fall holiday season. And, and we have the Thanksgiving and, and Christmas and New Year season upon us. Now prices as of late have been on the downward trend. Are there an, any factors you can point to animals staying on the farm a little bit longer being larger in size? What are we looking at as far as that trend? You know, that's very true from, from a cattle standpoint, the cattle that are coming to market are heavier, they're, they're larger. So that puts more meat on the market and can suppress prices. From a pork standpoint, we just have a lot of pigs. We had a, a backup uh, when our, our larger harvest plants were operating at less than capacity. So we do have a lot of pigs to move through. And that's, that's putting uh, pork at a, a very buyer friendly position right now, as far as price point goes in the grocery store. When it comes to the smaller processing, I know I've talked to local meat processors that are scheduled out to 2022 on their calendar for taking animals. Is that something you're seeing around the state that that demand for getting animals processed is just enormous? It is enormous right now and our, our smaller uh, butcher plants have done amazing business right now. They're, they're moving through more animals uh, than they ever have at any point in time. And, and the demand is still higher. So uh, one thing that we've learned during this COVID area, era, if you will, is that uh, people want to know where their meat comes from. They, they want to go to a local butcher shop. They want to work with a, a farmer uh, to know where, where their beef and pork and lamb is coming from at, at many times. So we are seeing a, a higher and higher demand for our local meat shops to step up, whether it's the retail case or the harvest side of things. For producers, what is your outlook for the months ahead? Do we see a bit of leveling off as these plants remain at a, a more full production standpoint? I, I think that's a good good uh, way of putting it. I think that for the, the pork side, uh, we are really watching uh, exports. Uh, as I said, uh, from, a, from a consumer standpoint, pork is really consumer friendly right now for, for our price shoppers. And that will likely continue through the end of this year and into next year as we have uh, a good supply of, of hogs coming at us uh, beginning in 2022 as well. On the beef side, uh, no supply issues whatsoever, although our numbers on the beef side right now through the end of the year will be a little bit lower uh, than what they would have been uh, begin or end of 2019. And then we'll see uh, a larger number of, of market ready cattle the beginning somewhere during the first quarter of 2021.